Hey folks, Technivorous here. I've had quite a few questions about the TiVo Tarantula Pro lately, so in this video I'm going to address a couple of them and try to get you some answers, so stay tuned. Alright, so this is the GitHub page for all my Kira profiles. I will leave this link in the description down below. It will be at the very top of the description. You can go ahead and just click on that. And as you can see, if you scroll through here, you will find at the bottom my TiVo Tarantula Pro PLA Kira profile. So if you're using the T-Pro, that's the one that you want. I do have a ton of other stuff in here for the Ender 3. And to be honest, I end up using the Ender 3 stuff as a base for most of my profiles because if you look at the three main printers I use, they are all basically the same size and of Cartesian design. So it ends up being a great starting point. However, this is a little bit more dialed in for the TiVo Tarantula Pro itself. So I definitely recommend starting there. All right, so firstly, I've had a few people asking about my TiVo Tarantula profile. I had done a video in Kira a while back where I'd set up my TiVo printer and I had mentioned that I would get the TiVo Tarantula Pro profile up onto my github so uh, let me get that for you right now the other question that we've been receiving a lot lately has been about abs printing on the tivo tarantula pro and i can tell you i haven't yet done it i know the hot end doesn't quite go as hot as the ender threes does it gets close and it should be able to print it without any problems i can also tell you though that it is a open frame machine just like the rest of these which means that you don't have an enclosed space to print in. That doesn't make it impossible. A lot of people just put a box over the printer to keep the hot air trapped inside, but Kira does have a special setting for this, and I'll show it to you. So here we are in Kira. As you can see, I've scrolled down to my experimental settings. If you don't have this showing, you're gonna to need to activate it. What you wanna do is click on that little cog wheel there and type in draft shield. Now I already have mine checked, so you know it's gonna pop up. I don't need to check it again. We can go ahead and close that. What you wanna do, is go ahead and check this guy and turn it on if I can find it here enable draft shield and basically uh, the three main things I can tell you about printing ABS are pay attention to the temperature of the bed and pay attention to the temperature of the filament both of these are listed on your filament package the other thing you need to be aware of is the fact that if you have any sort of temperature variance in your room you are probably going to end up with cracks and warps in your model and this is because abs requires a pretty steady temperature and your bed temperature is pretty warm and your nozzle temperature is pretty warm and as they move further apart there's a chance that the temperature in the middle of the model could be reduced by quite a bit and that change actually can cause the model to crack and split now i can show you a demonstration of this color variance real quick And I meant temperature variance. As you can see, this is a thermochromic PLA I'm printing on the ET4. Now, thermochromic means it changes color with heat, and as it comes out of the nozzle, it is white. As you can see, the bottom of the bed is a little bit lower temperature than the actual nozzle temperature, so it is a light pink color down there. The actual color of this filament is a bright pinkish red color, and you will see that in just a moment. But I'm using this to illustrate the difference of temperature in the air between the nozzle and the bed. Right now, you don't see much of a difference. The color is pretty uniform and even, which tells you that the temperature of the model is pretty uniform and even. But because we don't have an enclosure on our printer, eventually you will notice this. Now, this is a perfect demonstration of why printing ABS on an open air machine is so difficult. The air flowing by the model drastically changes the temperature between the middle of the model and the top and bottom of the model. This causes warping and cracking, as I said, uh, and it is no better illustrated than right here with this thermochromic filament. Now, PLA doesn't have that problem. It has really great bonding properties and doesn't need to be cured while setting at an even temperature. Uh, ABS, you're going to want to use that draft shield that I showed you because that will help lock in some of that air. Now, if you can use a draft shield and somehow partially enclose your printer without causing some sort of a fire hazard or risk to your safety, that is definitely recommended as well. As I said, I don't have a video for doing ABS directly on the TiVo Tarantula Pro, but I am working on it and I will get it out to you shortly. For now though, 
my best advice is to make sure that you have that draft shield on and that you are printing in as enclosed of a space as possible in order to reduce airflow and cooling of the model, which can cause your model to break. Now, all of that said, I have gotten some wonderful models off of the Ender 3 Pro here in ABS. It just takes a little bit of doing and a little bit of dialing in the settings, making sure maybe you don't have your air conditioner on or you don't have a fan blowing nearby, simple things like that and definitely use that draft shield. I can put a video link up here for my Ender 3 ABS video, which I also plan to update. It is a little bit old and I have changed a few of my tactics since then, but the premise is basically the same and it should help you on your way. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.